Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm a cinematographer, just a dude with a camera. Okay, this is part three of my budget doom buggy build. We have come up with enough parts to get, put a rolling chassis together. That's what we're going to do. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get started. Actually, a few days ago, this pan chassis was sitting on the side of my shed next to the other one. And about seven months ago, I chopped it 14 and a quarter inches to use for a Now, this pan was really rusty. I mean, not like cancer rust, but a lot of surface rust because it used to fill up full of water when it rains. So I'm gonna post a couple pictures in here of what this looked like before. But I used this stuff called a must for rust. I just put it in a squirt bottle. See, so yeah, I write rust stuff on it. And I sprayed it on here seven months ago. And now you see where it's all powdery white. It's all neutralized. All the rust is gone. So I'm just gonna get in here with a wire wheel and grind everything down. I got all the caked on dried grease here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a once over with the wire wheel and take a look at it again. I may want to run a little bit more of this rust prevention stuff on it, but it actually it's ready to paint. I'm just gonna knock off all the high spots and then we're gonna paint it with, you know, high temperature enamel, Krylon or Rust-Oleum or one of those. So next step is gonna to be to come in here and knock the rest of these pop welds out and grind these down so they're smooth. I'm gonna do it on both sides. And then, like I said, clean the rest of the pan up and then we're gonna go ahead and paint the whole pan except for this line right here where we're gonna be right putting in the new pan halves. Okay, for the front beam, this came out of a 66 donor car. The car was pretty clean. It had been wrecked and beat up pretty hard and, and sat for a long time. And it's a California car. So this is all just surface rust in here. I'm gonna go ahead and knock all this down with my wire wheel as best I can. Then we're gonna give it a couple of coats of some rust inhibitor, and let that do its magic for a couple of days. And then we'll go ahead and shoot on some, you know, high temp black engine enamel. All right, I have everything set up, ready to go. Various grinders and sanders and cutoff wheels and hammers and chisels. And we're gonna go ahead and clean and paint this pan before we put the new pan halves on there. Here we go. Okay, it's a nice sunny morning and I got out here with the wire wheel and knocked all the crud off of the bottom of the pan and most of it off the top of the pan. There's still a lot of the factory undercoating on there that I'm not gonna sit there and try and get off. This is like a budget build. But I knocked off as much as I could and got it cleaned and degreased. And I got the first coat of paint on the bottom so I could flip it over and work on detailing the top. And like I said, it's a budget build, but it doesn't mean it doesn't have to be nice. So this is with high heat Rust-Oleum engine enamel. And this will last for quite a few years. Now that the bottom of the pan is dry, it's time to flip it over, do the last couple details, and go ahead and put a coat of black paint on here. As you can see, we're done with the front beam. Took quite a few hours to get it ready to go. But again, like I said, budget build, budget build, budget build. Somehow I got way ahead of myself and I didn't take any pictures or any videos all day. So this is where I'm at. The pan is completely painted, dried. The front end, same thing, is painted and installed. Last minute change on the transmission. So this one didn't get painted. Tomorrow we will be putting the pan halves into place, getting them final fitted, and then eventually welded in. And tomorrow it will be a roller. These are the wheels that I dug up that I had on another buggy project. Put a quick coat of white paint on them and they are ready to roll, literally. 
So in the next couple days, this is gonna be a rolling buggy project. And then we're gonna think about what we're gonna do for color. I'm just not gonna leave it white. That's it for now. Okay, here we go. At the end of the day, after a couple of blistering days of work, we have got a rolling pan. Big fat beats on it. And that's what we're looking at so far. Beam's been cleaned up, painted, steers nicely, rolls great. So I gotta do the handbrake assembly. We're gonna do the pan halves tomorrow. They're sitting over there, got the first one done. I got little JJ, we look at him. Get involved. What's going on, Jay? What do you smell? All right, that's it for now. Budget buggy build. All right, this is it for tonight. Spark the new beast, the budget buggy beast build. Four bees. Whoa. All right, we'll resume tomorrow. Okay, hot sunny morning and we're back at it. So I have both my pan halves all cut and sized. I got them stitched together with sheet metal screws sitting on my boxed rail supports. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off, put them up on the bench and start tacking them all together. Here's what we got so far. Complete rolling chassis with pans. Body's ready to go on it. It's gonna be quite sunny and hot out here today, so I'm gonna put up an umbrella, so that's gonna help with the shade. So we're gonna get back at this. All right, we're done welding the driver's side pan. I'm gonna clean it up, get my seam sealer all ready to go and get it in place. All right, and the pans are in place, ready to go. Soon we will get the body put back on the pan. Just recently dug up some more parts from the junk part pile. You can see I got a master cylinder that works. I got a pair of spring shocks there and pedal assembly, emergency brake. I'm gonna go ahead and get all that stuff put in here before we go ahead and drop the body into place. Make things a lot easier. All right, so that's it for part three of the budget dune buggy build. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll try and keep you guys up to date on what's going to go on next here. So thanks for watching. Filet TV. Ciao.